Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This time, Rahul Mugan here as the Chief Executive Officer of Prezi Consulting LLP, and this time we are going to covering a very interesting uh, video on our YouTube channel, which covers the foreign appetite for the Indian bonds. Now, this seems to be a very simple topic, and very it seems to be a topic which is pertaining to only Indian market. But this covering, but if you read carefully the topic right up front, this covering a lot. Now this topic pertains to a uh, this is a live proof of the fact that carry matters and this is and everything mentioned here in this particular article published in the newspaper this clearly suggests that carry matters. Now before moving ahead, let me uh, simply explain you what do you mean by carry. Carry is nothing but a phenomena through which a person who is a uh, who is from a a uh, low return country would like to get higher return based upon a carry trade now what is carry trade if you are a dollar currency then you will sell the carry you will sell dollars and invest in india and whereby you get a you get a higher higher return of course this phenomena might not work over the period of time because there was a huge there is there is a huge pressure on foreign share on federal reserve to increase the rate and yesterday I was watching the Bloomberg TV and accordingly there was a great indication that Federal Reserve could have raised three rates uh, uh, sorry rise the rates by three times in the next two in the next year which is 2017 which is a big amount and if seriously if this could happen then the Federal Reserve would, would cross the Australian dollar rate which is 1.5 percent and and an overnight Federal rate would trade at approximately 1.75 percent which would be very high and believe me if this would happen then india along with several countries across the globe will start facing the reverse carry and reverse carry would be the phenomenon when the money will move out of the developing economies and, and, and it would go to the u.s economy and this would certainly happen one day or not india would surely face the reverse carry it is one year two year three year down the line because over the period of the time federal reserve need to rise the rate to back to two two and a half percent and once it could happen uh in indian rupee will will surely face the reverse carry now if you look at this uh, chart carefully i would like to take you this chart uh, to a very good phenomena this chart suggests that in 2010 which is we are here with this is we are here in 2010 you know uh only one deal has happened now uh, number of deals was uh, only uh uh no i am only nine deal only one deal has happened and 2011 it was approximately three deals and uh, it was uh, one deal again in 2012 till 2000, 2016 is 19 now the main point here is to which we need to understand is that 2001 the value if you look at here the value was i think approximately 300 or 350 something million dollars if you look at here 2020 uh, sorry 2011 this is approximately 2.2 2.3 billion dollars because this is in million dollars now comparatively if you look at 2016 this is approximately 4.8 billion dollars uh, roughly we can treat this as uh, 5 billion dollars why this is happening because of this fact please read here Globally, more than $10 trillion worth of bonds are yield less than zero, which means that you lose some of your capital if you hold till maturity. This has bought down rate expectation and created conducive environment for the borrowers from emerging markets like India. So if an Indian bond who is offering approximately 8 and half percent, then people will surely invest. But please don't get, uh, you know, uh, don't get a wrong feeling from here. Why? Because there involves a cost also. That is rightly said. If I am in US and Federal Reserve will increase the rate to 1.5%, I will love to invest in US, but I will not invest in India. There is a simple reason. The reason is that if I invest in India, then I would have lost, uh, then I would be in the loose because of the carry cost. And the carry cost is nothing but the hedging cost. If I invest in India, I need because I am an, an offshore investor, I need to hedge this. Now, if I need to hedge this, of course, there is a cost to it. An offshore investor will hedge in the offshore treasury center like Singapore, New York, you know, Australia, Tokyo, and others. And this involves a cost. Of course, this involves a cost. And if this would happen, then this cost would move up. 
So ultimately, I am getting four and a half percent. Then at the end, I will get little less. But yes, that. But yes, that fact is sure, which is that you will get greater than what you will get in the U.S. sitting today because U.S. is opening you point five percent. This is something which was the purpose of the of the today's video is to is to appear you that Indian bonds are getting highly appetite in the U.S. Not at the rate at rate it should be, and. Sitting today, there are two biggest reason for that. One is the negative interest rate policy. More than approx, as per this, uh, you know, this article, it is 10 trillion dollars. As per the bank report, this is more than 14 trillion dollar, which is approximately a GDP of the China, little less than the GDP of China, which is having the negative interest rate policy. And if this would happen, then I think of over the period of the time, even the high yield bonds. And the non-investment grade bonds by the Indian Indian issuers will get a big appetite. This is something which we need to understand. And I think over the period of over the period of the time, you will see a lot of uh, issuance uh, from masala bonds. But at the same time, January 2017 is a decider. If Federal Reserve will increase the rate, then then system will start facing the reverse carry. And if reverse carry would happen, then it is going to be a big issue. You are always welcome to connect with us anytime. You have our email address Rahul Dot Mangan at the rate Trajikinsulting Dot In. Our website is www Dot Trajikinsulting Dot In. Our fixed income tax takes care of all foreign assets. You know, Indian bonds, masala bonds, the hedging of masala bonds in the NDF delivery market. What to guide, how to guide, and everything. You are always welcome to connect with us. Everyone yeah, would like to thank you very much, and we would like to bring to your notice. That we are coming up with our booklet, and that booklet covers everything about the tradition setting of the LLP. Booklet is scheduled, I think, uh, uh, roughly end of November 2016. Thank you, and have a great day.